New York. Let's go to Brian Benstocks. Here we got Honda Acura. We're gonna tear it up, baby. Come on. The prepared are gonna kill the unprepared in 2023. This is the game. Now, I want to take Paradigma, our team, from the number one spot to even higher than number one. This is our takeover. It's Big Ryan. We're headed out to New York to go to Brian Benstock's Paragon Honda Acura. We're gonna tear it up, baby. Come on, let's go. Paragon Honda Acura, number one dealership, Honda and Acura store. The past 10 years, right now, we got the Elliott Group team about to board our flights. Come on, headed down to JFK. See you in just a second, Ben Style. Let's go. JFK Airport, guys, we're ready to go see Ben Stock. About to go get these bags. Got my boys, the Max, with me. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna say this: we're gonna tear up New York City. We're not gonna be allowed to be let back in this damn place. Come on. Total market disruption. We got some of the boys. We're about to go see Brian Benstock. Come on, you know how it goes. Now listen to me. The prepared are going to kill the unprepared in 2023. This is the game. So if you're not training your team, you're going to get annihilated by a company that's immersed in self-improvement. The only way to wealth is through self-improvement. With all these market shifts going on, we're going to destroy everybody who isn't doing the training every day. And if you're not training, you're complaining. Trained insane or remain the same, mother. Sprinter van, head to the hotel, get some dinner. Tomorrow we're hopping in Hudson River. Come on, baby. Training all day, let's go. and they never get where they want. We always got an impeccable attitude. <laughs> it's gonna be two minutes, guys. New York, baby! New York, baby! <laughs> well, this is our takeover. And now we've, we've taken over some land. Today's about market share and the land grab. So we're gonna just literally take the entire market in automotive in this next 24 hours. This is like in an army when they take a hill or take a, a mountain and then they own that now. And, and now is the time for us to take a piece of land. And, it, and sometimes it takes us six months to take a piece of land and sometimes you can do it in 24 hours. This is a 24 hour land piece we're gonna take. And anybody and everybody that's connected to this guy that we're going to war with will want to go to war with us on their side, not on the other side of it. I would hate. This is good for grabbing dealers. I would hate to have a team that's not being trained by a team like us. I can only imagine what would happen to them. It's called fucking bankruptcy. The partnership with the Elliott Group and the Power Gun Organization. We are going to make history together. Those are not words, right? This is. This time calls for really great leadership. There's going to be the haves and the have-nots, and these guys here are committed to being on the have side, right? Let's go. Let's go 
going on guys? We're down here, we're at dinner with one of Ben Stock guys. We're at Cipollini. I'm gonna say this, this is a special moment for not just Brian Ben Stock, but for the other group as well. Brian has been dominating the world Honda and Acura for the past 10 years, just going crazy. But ultimately, the reason why this is special for us is because this guy is a stallion. Stallions run with stallions, and so we're about to just absolutely take over New York. But tonight, we're gonna enjoy a little bit of conversation, we're gonna make sure that we eat some great protein, and ultimately, we're gonna wake up four in the morning, crush out the gym, absolutely break down some muscle fibers, start the day training, start it out hot, and absolutely destroy Saturday. New York City, you guys aren't ready for what the other group of Brian Benstock are about to do. Come on. Guys, day one, night one, man. Just landed, got New York, went and had dinner with Brian Benstock, Marat, general sales manager of Paragon Honda. And I'm telling you, man, they treated us amazing. It was insane. Tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., we go to the gym, we smash it, we train hard, we go jump in the river. Ain't nothing like a cold plunge, right, cats? Yeah. 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 Come on. And then we're gonna go start it out with an 8 a.m. breakfast with the team, make sure they're fed and ready for the 9 a.m. sales meeting where we launch the number one sales training program in the world, yeah. baby! Yeah. Tortured. We're, we're getting tortured by Brian Benson. No, we're gonna fucking torture his ass. Is what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, go, I promise you, nobody's gonna torture us. It's absolutely impossible to torture us. We will do be doing the torturing, and they invited us to, into their house to torture them. Easy. And they can have all the tools, the resources, and whatever Brian they want. The yes, we're gonna strip them naked and throw them in the middle of the ocean. You guys ever okay. seen Brian Benstock go for a little swim in the ocean? You're about to see it. Should we push him? Should Ryan push Rasmussen's gonna be doing the Statue of Liberty about, naked in the water. How about we all grab him and jump <laughs> in at the same time? I love that. Let's grab him like a, I love that. Like a second. Yeah, I don't ask why they call on me. Can't do no wrong when it's all on me. Peace, my brother. I need more than the peace, my brother. If you rollin' with me, my brother, just know we goin' past the peak, my brother. And I keep my eyes on the prize so I can never see defeat, my brother. Walk in the finest line between the shining night and royalty, my brother. I ain't playing, but they see I leveled up. They fed up, I don't act like I'm fed enough. Hate the game, but I'm sure you could bet it's us. Can't complain, but I'm sure you attempted, brother. Fess it up. Everything that you estimate's an underrate. You can say this the latest. You gotta be like, I always keep the statement up to date by the way that I elevate the butter rings on the way with the fleet. Take a seat, I stay out of reach. What's going on, guys? Down here in the basement. We're warming up on the bikes. O'Brien Benstock wanted to get warmed up before we hit this little workout. We're gonna show him what it looks like Elliot Group style, baby. Come on. Trash and I'm picking a litter. I'ma spend a whole bag, I'm still getting rich. Really a figure, slice the bitch, now I'm intimate with it. Got hunger, but I'm skipping the dinner to give him the picture. Get him my gold, they ain't giving the silver. They ain't really the winners, long as you're still in the mix. That's a real bad luck. Oh, in case you missed the place with grace, but I can't stay put. I'm made to be self-made and make way with the fleet. Take a seat or stay out of reach. Word is mine, I claim in the peace. Throne is mine, but I stay on my feet. Locked and loaded, I pray that you get low. If you roll it, I pray you don't get cold. Is you ready for war, my brother? Is you ready for war, my brother? I'm back and they backing up. Guys, if you're in New York and you're looking for a gym, I do not suggest this one. This is where the dogs come to eat. This is where the lions <laughs> freaking hunt. Don't suggest firm athletics because it's freak mode down here. I mean, just take a look around. It's freaking nasty. Savage. All the way from fucking 
off in West Coast, East Coast, baby. Elliot Army out here at Honda, Paragon Honda and Acura, paying the rent, baby. No excuses. Is it ready for says they want to win, right? But nobody wins alone. An individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. Oh! We're coming for total freaking annihilation, baby! Yeah. Take a look in every one of these killers' eyes. Hungry! Okay, these guys hungry. are hungry. You know what? They ain't here for scraps. They want the whole meal, baby! Yeah. You better train your team. If not, we're gonna bankrupt your ass. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> no, let's go! Let's go! Paragon, the men and women at Paragon, it's my obligation to do that. And I, you know, I, I looked at everybody in the country. I said to, to Murat, I said to Ariel, this is the best in the business. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. We're, only good we're the best in the business. The best. And, Together. And, and, and you know, we're, we're at a really good level at Paragon. And the challenge is always when you're at that level to keep taking it up a notch. You know, I didn't post anything about us being first in the country for Honda, post first in the country for Acura, because it's not enough. So, and we know, and, and we're not, you know, we're, I think we're humble in our success. And we know that last year was probably the, no, not probably, it was the best year in Paragon existed. And financially, and every other way, we did have 8,500 cars, in a time when everyone's whining about not getting cars, we're scrapping to get cars. So, even when we're scrapping, also, we're getting with guys like this and this team. They came to the restaurant last night, looked like Navy SEAL Team Six when they predators. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, yeah. When, they got, when they got off the sprint, I said they need a table for 15. They said, Yes, sir, right away. Yeah. <laughs> the, the moose is there walking around like this. They're throwing steak in the corner of the, yeah. the Nebraska guy. Yeah. I love you, man. <laughs> you're thick as a. I want to put my arms around. No, no, it's all real. <laughs> so, so we're really excited to bring you with the other 400 or so, 300 people that will be at Paragon. Uh, this morning, I want to go for a run to the water. It's not four miles, okay? So I say, yeah, it's about a mile, okay? <laughs> it's a mile, it's beautiful. I'm going to have Nassim, the driver and the sprinter, go not too far away so that if somebody can't make it, they can't make it. This is a private country club. It's a million dollars a year. It's a million dollars to join and a hundred thousand a year. We will be trespassing, so you will be running. Okay? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Run like it's it's yeah. like a jailbreak. Yeah. Hell yeah! Now we're talking. But Jekyll and I were there running one day, and, and, and we were on a property, and a guy came out, and he looked Spanish, and, and Pacheco was speaking Spanish. You know, the guy goes, I'm Italian. <laughs> so, 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 we just need to drink the water. So it, it, it's really great to have all you guys here. I appreciate the dedication. I know what it is to be young a long time ago. I know what it is to get up at 4 o'clock to get here. Not easy. And you're all here. So you're champion. Let's fucking go! We're about to go run a uh, couple of miles right here. It's freaking starting to snow. New York morning, up at 4 a.m. What are you guys doing? You sleeping, staying in bed where it's warm, where it's comfortable? Or are you just getting after it, leveling up, and trying to get 1% better every single day? What is it that you're doing? You decide, baby. Woo! Get, the fuck, get up there. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Or, get Yo, where you, get where you know We're going to have company. We're going to have company as soon as we get into uh, uh, down there. But there's no one there now, so we're good. We're going to meet the sun up. Well, everyone, everyone else out there in the world is trying to figure out a way to get better. They're trying to figure out, hey, what do I do? What do I say? But they don't have the fucking discipline here. They don't get the fuck up and do exactly what they know they need to do. That's the magic key. Own this mind. Own your world, baby. This is what we tell ourselves every day. This is the quickest, baddest one minute meeting you will ever gonna fucking need, all right? So let's fucking give it everything we got. When Evan says something, you're gonna repeat it back. Are you guys ready? Go! Yeah. Yeah. Right, Evan, away. Wait, are you guys ready? Yeah! Come on! I'm an elite sales warrior! I'm an elite sales warrior! I will destroy my competition! I will destroy my competition! I believe I can close!
Blows any fire! I believe I can close any fire! Success trains failure to play! Success trains failure to play! I will never quit! I will never quit! I have no ego! I have no ego! I have no entitlement! I have no entitlement! I just walk and talk like a warrior! I just walk and talk like a warrior! I'm ready for war! I'm ready for war! Back in the van, we just got done jumping. What do you call this? This you oh shit! I can barely talk. It's so damn it cold. Done. We just got done running four miles, running freezing ass cold through the snow, through the headwinds, jumping in the water. It's like some. It's like what? <laughs> Twenty degrees? <laughs> Guess what? We jogged all the way back to the van. Listen, the reason why we do this is because it fucking sucks. But we go. is amateurs. Do you agree, yes or no? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, is that freaking crazy? It's crazy. Is it crazy? Right now, everybody write this down. Low barrier of entry. I'm going to explain to you why the automotive space has been disrespected, okay? And I'm gonna explain to you how so many people right now are picking up scraps when they could be eating steaks, okay? Amateurs. 
you know, people ask me, what do you think of Andy Elliott? I'll tell you what I think of Andy Elliott. I, he, I, the highest level of respect I can give anybody is I don't want you working with my competition. You know, most of the vendors you do business with and they say, well, we're gonna go someplace else. Who cares, right? It's not gonna make a difference. You're a freaking game changer and you're a game changer for our team. Now, I wanna take Paragon, our team, from the number one spot to even higher than number one. The, I want the separation between us and number two. I want, on January 1st, everyone to say, okay, Paragon's gonna win the year. The question is, who's gonna be in second place and how many cars behind Paragon will they be? That's the dominance that we want. And you, you saw it today when Andy was talking to the sales staff, how ill-equipped they are to take us to the next place. And, and I, my, my manager was really upset about that. And I said, dude, do you know what we earned last year? Not knowing what we're doing? Imagine the upside, the upside. It's the equivalent of what you talked about. Someone putting a cap at $100,000 a year, then you found the pay stuff at $200,000, and you doubled because you set the standard higher. Last year was the best year in our history. Best year, all these years, best year in our history by a lot. And now this year, when everyone's talking about gloom and doom and contraction and recession, we're gonna explode it. And you're the secret formula, buddy. So uh, maybe I think that he's maxed out, okay? I'm gonna ask a question before I hit him with an objection. I'm gonna rate David, ready? David, I think one to 10, I think you're a two. Ooh. Tell me what you think. What do you think one to 10 you are? Ten. He thinks he's a 10. So what I hear David saying, See, I'm looking for people that want to grow. Am I, am I right? Yes, sir. But David, one to ten, to ten, he can't grow no more. He's maxed out, man. He's maxed out. You done? <laughs> no. So you are a two, and you got lots of room to grow. Correct. So number one, did I just close him? He was a two. Yeah. Yes. I'm a fucking master closer. Yeah. Number two. No big deal, guys. That's what I do for a living, okay? But by the way, outside of that, I just want to make sure you guys were aware of that, okay? Number two, David, David didn't raise his hand because David was thinking in his head that he was a 10. And that's the last thing you want to do because if you run against someone like me that is dying to take someone out and annihilate them and embarrass them, and to bankrupt their ass and to take their customers and own the market share, he don't want to play with me. Mm. That's what I want you guys to do. I want you to get stirred up. Are you coachable, yes or no? Coachable. Okay, because I'm trying to coach you. Correct. So, hey, am I coaching him, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Am I coaching him? Yes, sir. Yes. Am I? Yes. You're coming next in the tan shirt if you don't wake up. Tan jacket? Yeah, right there looking around. I'm talking to you. You better get engaged, dude, or you're next up here. Okay? All right, listen. I'm coaching him right now. So here's what, I want, here's what I want him to know, okay? When they say no, I don't want him to have... Guys, do professionals have to think? They don't have to think. They know their job like the back of their hand. My goal is that in this book, everybody see the Sales Warrior Playbook? Everybody see this in their hand? Yes. This book right here, don't look at it. It'll teach you every objection under the sun. By the way, listen, there's multiple ways to handle it, but I'm going to get you started. And I'm going to explain what we need. When I tell him no, that's when the real selling starts. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, right. Now, by the way, would I be here if I didn't want to buy it? No. no. No, I want to buy it. I just want to make sure that he's a pro so I can say yes and pass go. I want you to wake up in the next month. I want you to triple your numbers. In the back half of this month, I want you to triple your numbers. I don't ever want you to let me embarrass you again. By the way, I didn't embarrass you, but you if did. you're not great, be now I'm going to poke at your ass every single day until you become great. Andy, okay? Yeah. Yeah. David is a top salesman in White Plains Honda. He follows you. He loves you. And he learned from you just now. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. All right, here we go. All right. Hey, and if David is the top guy now, imagine what David's going to do whenever we go to the next level. All right, you follow me? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab you, and I'm going to roll like this. Give me that mic. Watch this. Ready? All right, here we go. You ready? Right now, stand up. Guys, watch. I'm going to play a game called Rapid Fire. I'm going to show you how to train each other. By the way, the training, the training is in the room. All right, what's your name? Christopher. Christopher. Me and you are on a test drive. 2018 Nissan Altima. We're on a test drive. 2018 Nissan Altima. We get off the test drive. Okay? Hit me with the trial close. Go. Now, from 1 to 10, maybe you rate this vehicle. I think it's a 9. 9? What will make it a 10? I mean, I think it's good. I've never read anything at 10, so I think the nine's pretty good with me. Okay, and if I can show you numbers that fit your budget, will you be ready to take the vehicle home now? Hey, I really appreciate it. I want to go home and think about it. Listen, I understand you want to think about it, but you can't do that shit now. 
you made a decision to come and buy a car now? Is it the car or is it that you feel like it's not going to be in your budget? Number one, I didn't make a decision to come and buy a car now, right? And I haven't seen the numbers, so I don't know if it's in my budget. But I do know this, that I checked out the vehicle. I like it. I just want to go home and think about it. I totally understand um, that you want to go home and think about it. Now, there's something stopping me from doing business now. Can you share that with me? There's nothing stopping me, man. I just want to think about it. Okay. <laughs> well, why don't we listen to what I'm saying? What am I saying? Isn't it crazy? He's like, you don't want to buy. There's something stopping you. Is it me? Is it the car? You guys want to be like everybody else? No. I swear to God in my life, if I hear another person say, me, the money, or the machine, I'm going to throw you through that window. One last shot, go. Okay, after doing this for six years, I want you to think about something, okay? I'm a little nervous, I'm not nervous. No, no, you're not nervous, no. You're, hey, guys, he's not nervous. Do not let him sell you on that shit. He's not nervous. He doesn't know it. Oh, that's the, dude, you don't know it. That's the problem, he's not nervous. He's like, boss, I was nervous. Dude, what's your address? What's your date of birth? What's your social security? What, what's your kids' names? What's your mom's names, right? Where did you grow up? What's the ABC? Sing happy birthday. Oh, shit, he could do all that up here. Yeah. Am I right? Yes, sir. He don't know it. Now, listen to me. I love you, okay? But I am telling you, this is very, very easy. Shit. Get over there. Come on, man. Get over there. Yeah. I can't believe that guy's young. I can't believe it. Sorry, Clubhouse. Get him dirty. Yeah, because that means he don't care. Great. And they ain't no more of them yawning. All right, guys, let's get back to business. She was working as a receptionist, making 15 bucks an hour. And she said to Ariel, hey, I want to sell cars. And gave her the right pushback. She said, I want to learn. I want to learn. I want to learn. First month on the floor, 20 grand. Woo! Yeah. I, I, I tell this story. I, I think people must think I'm like dating her or something. I tell this story. I'm so proud because that's what this industry can do. And so, so why is it the people that are here a year or two years never experience it? She was hungry. She, I, I believe. Oh my God, get me. I could get from behind this desk to over there. Oh my God. And, and, and she's one of many great stories. I think that's one of the things we don't do enough. Great story, great story. Really great story, great story, great story. There's great stories everywhere. You're freaking a badass. You are a badass. When you get in and you study this, you're going to annihilate everyone. It's what you say, how you say it, and you believe in what you're saying. And I'm telling you, the next time I see you guys face to face, the next time I see you on the Zoom call in 30 days, and I'm going to see her for the first time, I'm going to be like, hey, I got a couple more cars I'm going to go look at. I want you to bury me. I want you to be like, dude, this is a joke. You know what I'm saying? And then I want you to handle it. Is anybody afraid? No. Okay, guys, let's go to war. Love you guys. Hey. Guys, hey, just to recap this all off, everybody's getting back to work, but we just got done training Paragon Honda's team right out here on this floor. Hundreds of people are out here getting fired up, getting battle tested, and the deal is, is this. I love this team so much for one reason. When people get battle tested and they're like, you know what, I don't know what the answer is, a couple things happen. Ego, entitlement, all of that arrogance will creep in. This team right here, you know what they say? They say, I'm not as good as I think I was, but now that I know I can do better, I will do better. I'm gonna make the decision to change. So this team, they're fired up. They're ready to go attack. Make 2023 a record-breaking year. And the way they're gonna do that is by partnering up with Andy, getting better at training, becoming a master communicator, getting better at closing, it takes leaders like Ben Stock to let their team know that there's another level to them. The bar has now been raised, and I know that this team's gonna rise to the occasion. So we just got done playing it, going crazy, bringing the fire, and I'm gonna tell you guys this, we're ready to attack 2023. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. Come on. Finish up with an incredible, incredible
incredible sales meeting. It was one of the best I've ever seen and a great way to start off 2023. But it's out here, it's snowing, it's blowing. We got all the boys that want to come out here, and kick some ass are today. Going, baby. And uh, we got the whole, we got Jacob over here, we got Chris. Oh, come hey, on, look, baby. The Woo. snow ain't gonna stop us from winning. Nothing will. 2023, it's locked down. We're gonna kill it. But hey, two words for you guys make history. That's what it's all about. We're making history today at Brian Benstock's store here in New York City. Let's go. Come on. Jackie, that shit was wicked. You have yeah, people leaning in. Hard. I was watching trying. all you guys. I just was fucking proud of Jacob. our team because we took their fucking team soul. Jacob, you were snatching them left Jacob. and right. Jacob. Yeah. That, was, that was killer. That's what the Elliott group was. We showed them that no matter how badass that their store is, we are the standard. We set the standard. Okay. That was freaking incredible. We raised our standard. Good Hell job, yeah. 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 Good job. To to yeah, we encouraged yeah. them. Encouraged them big time. Showed them what that next level is yeah. because yeah. sometimes you don't even know what it is until you see it. You know, it's like getting exposed to it. So they got exposed to another level. They're on fire, man. It's incredible. Brian's such a good guy. He deserves the a freaking, he deserves the best team in the world. And now they're really gonna truly go get yep. it. So that's badass. What's going on guys? Lynn is just back in Phoenix, Arizona. Brendan's girlfriend called him the second he got off the plane. Yes. She's so ready to pick him up. She has to talk to her in six hours. She's been freaking out. Little did she know that we were in the air from New York to Phoenix. So, Brandon, safe. he's just so excited to see hey, Gia. Highlight of the trip, baby. We got the hot coffee ready. We got uh, pedicures today. It's Sunday. My God, man. <laughs> we're, we're just getting warmed up, baby. Well, we went to New York, obviously. We made the partnership of the year. The number one store in the world, with the number one training company in the world. If you've seen some of the footage, you see the way that we do stuff. We're not a training company, that's what people think. We actually take people and we take their skill to a whole nother level, but we recreate their mindsets. If you don't recreate your mindset, nothing in your life's gonna change because what you think about all day long is who you become. So we came down here and we partnered with the Badass team. We went and we worked out. We jumped in the Atlantic Ocean when it was 20 degrees and snowing. We trained all day long. Totally recreated everybody's life. It was absolutely epic. Now we're back in Scottsdale, Arizona. Welcome to the partnership of a lifetime. You can't manage this, can't break this boy, I'm funded, huh? Uh, gotta keep my dishes when you not 100, huh? Uh, from the same one say they love you late and funny, huh? Uh, you can't match my energy, and yeah, you know it. Wait.